Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is Sunday and Sundays are my absolute favorite. Uh, maybe because we get to spend some quality time with our loved ones, have fun, eat together, spend some good time together. Also, Sundays are incomplete without some good food. And today's video is all about that. I'll be sharing my Sunday lunch routine with all of you. Uh, hope you guys will enjoy watching it. So uh, without wasting any time, let's start the video and I'll be taking you guys along with me in the kitchen. So this is the menu I have decided to make today. I'm starting with dal for which I'm adding tuwar dal giving it a good rinse under the water So first time doing this because dal tends to take a little while to cook so while doing that I can also work on other things Now I'm adding required amount of water a tablespoon of salt pinch of turmeric and i'm going to put it on a gas next i'm working on paneer gravy for which i'm cutting paneer into small cubes i always like to marinate paneer before making for which i'm adding some salt red chili powder and a pinch of turmeric give it a good mix and i have taken a pan in which i am adding some onions and tomatoes two to three green chilies and going to give it a good mix i'll saute this for uh, some 5 minutes to cut off that raw smell this is kind of ready now i'll turn off the heat now in other pan i'm adding some oil to shallow fry the paneer i don't like the raw smell of paneer because of which i am doing this step you can surely skip this if you don't want to do this uh, now the onion and tomato mixture is kind of cooled now i am adding it into a blender jar and i'll make a smooth paste out of it for the paneer gravy I'm putting up the kadai for paneer gravy adding 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil uh, I'm taking whole spices here 1 uh, to 2 cardamom cinnamon stick and 2 uh, to 3 long also one or two bay leaf now i am adding the paste i have made now here i am not sauteing it more because already i have like fried it a bit so directly i am going to add the spices uh, i have taken half uh, half teaspoon of chili powder salt as per the taste ginger garlic paste and some garam masala mix it really well 
allow this to fry for 5 to 6 minutes. Meanwhile, I am working on the curd. I am beating this really well to make smooth paste, which I will be adding in the gravy. So now uh, the paste is kind of ready. I am adding in the curd. Make sure the flame is low here. Instead of curd, you can also add cream. Give it a good mix and allow this to cook till the masala separates from the bottom. Masala is kind of ready. I'm adding the required amount of water as per the texture you want for your gravy. I'm adding some more water here. Give it a good mix. Cover it up and cook for 5 minutes. On other pan I have added some onion petals. I am just frying it on high flame which I am going to be adding in the gravy. The gravy is almost ready now. The oil has started to separate. At this point I am adding the paneer which I have fried. dropping in the onions give it a good mix I'm chopping coriander so paneer is almost ready now I'm just going to drop in the coriander leaf gonna give it a good mix and my paneer gravy is ready here my dal is also almost ready now I am preparing for the tadka for which I am adding 1 tablespoon of ghee adding in some mustard seeds and cumin seeds 2 dry red chilies some curry leaf give it a good mix Now I will be adding uh, red chilli. Make sure you take the pan off from the flame or else chances are the powder might get burned. Now adding the tadka into the dal. Going to put some coriander leaf. With that my dal is ready. Now I have started to work on matra pilau for which in a pan I am adding some oil. Dropping in the whole spices like cinnamon stick, pepper pods, bay leaf, and some jeera. Now I am dropping in the mutter. Try it really well till the raw smell kind of goes off. Now add the required amount of water. Here I am adding two glass of water for one cup of rice adding 1 tablespoon of salt I have taken 1 cup of rice going to give it a good rinse under the water water has come to a boil I'm adding in the rice now give it a good mix and allow this to cook now I am working on the raita in which I have added some onions chili and coriander leaf now I am just putting in some uh, jeera powder and salt. Give it a good mix. 
Palav is also almost ready. I'll turn off the heat now. With that, all of my lunch is ready. Matar palav, raita, paneer gravy, dal fry, and plain paratha, which I have not shown because this is just the basic paratha. So this is it in this video. Do let me know in the comment section below what you guys had for the lunch. And if you find this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.